Supply chains are becoming more and more complex, where they are no longer really a chain, but more like an ecosystem. Such complexity is exactly the kind of situation where data, algorithms, and digitization help decision making. And here lies the purpose of data to move. As a consortium of TUE, together with leading industry partners, we try to make the most out of data and thereby achieve excellence in supply chain management. We do this in the day-to-day -day reality of our industry partners. We try to improve logistics flows as well as achieve smooth collaboration in the supply chain. You want to make sure at the end of your research you have developed something useful for real practice. That's why it's important to work and collaborate with the businesses in consortiums like data to move or uh, European Supply Chain Forum. In the end, we build on each other's strengths. And the most recent examples that uh, we face is, of course, the COVID-19 crisis. That was uh, a very huge challenge for, uh, for the society, but also, of course, uh, for the logistics sector. Frontrunners in the industry already show game-changing applications of data analytics. They use it for optimal routing, to raise effectiveness with dynamic inventory systems, or to foster collaboration with supply chain partners. At this point, however, only a couple of leading businesses are using data analytics in their supply chains. But supply chains are only as strong as their weakest link. So as data do move, we want to have a broader impact. Which data-driven innovations apply in which industry? Which algorithms should be used in which type of setting? What helps businesses, small and large, to adopt the new technologies? These are the questions that live in the data to move community. And we research them academically, but also in the day-to-day -day business of our partners. And it's that that makes data to move a living lab. In the Living Lab, both bachelor and master students, they do smaller, more tailored research projects together with our partners. They look, for instance, which KPIs to use, uh, how to collaborate better with carriers, or which AI systems work better in a given inventory setting. Then we also have the PhD researchers and the academics that do more fundamental, long-term research that enable industry-wide innovation. Faster does not always mean better in terms of logistics because um, being on time is more important in many businesses and you want to make it consistent. This is quite a hot topic currently, last mile logistics or last mile uh, delivery optimization. There is a small detail that we take into account, which is customer side. So we want to make sure the hit rates are increased by considering lots of data from customer side. You need to keep into account that your problem also scales well to the real life problem. That's why it's fundamental because um, last mile logistics creates almost 60% of the total supply chain logistics. So it's a very key element in supply chains. In today's business-to-business -business markets, digitalization has become a reality and companies are actually struggling how to navigate in this new environment. Subscription programs are a way to possibly and hopefully bring additional value to customers in this uh, new environment. Customer loyalty is very critical because now with markets becoming more digitized, customers can actually access to any kind of information around and it's very easy for them to switch from one vendor to another. Businesses have to navigate in this kind of uncharted territory in a way and subscriptions are a way to do that because once customers actually pay this subscription fee upfront, then they in a way commit doing business with this company. Resiliency becoming a kind of a buzzword uh, that it also applies to different societal contexts. But within the context of a supply chain, a uh, general definition is the capability of the chain to ensure business continuity even in the presence of disruptive events. Something that we often observe from literature studies, but also talking with the practitioners, is that one, 
of the challenges that uh, generates many problems when it comes to react to disruptions. There is a huge lack of transparency and uh, this causes a lot of problems when a disruption occurs and uh, it's uh, impossible to give a precise estimate of how this will impact my own process. I believe it's a very relevant problem, especially for nowadays supply chains, because uh, Logistics evolved in the last decades and now the panorama of connections between companies is not only national anymore, but actually it relates different parts of the world. So something that is happening from on the other side of the world can have a huge impact on what I'm doing here. And this is a complex system and requires a specific support to be analyzed. That is still not there. The consortium as a living lab is fertile soil to smartly sow the seeds of curiosity. While entire supply chains benefit from the emerging knowledge, together we get to school the next generation of change makers. <laughs>